Sometimes there's a stalling point in a project. A time when you find many other things to keep you busy instead of that project you should be working on. It's even easier to ignore the project the longer you leave it alone. I saw this happening to me and I knew I needed help. A boost. Enter Gary Green, who came to the rescue. Gary and I went at unbeknownst with a frenzy last week. And at the end of day three, it was in the water. Welcome to part one of a two-part Thanksgiving bonus unbeknownst extravaganza. Put on your life vest, grab your favorite beverage, and hold on. Season three, episode eight, part one. My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat. Arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this. The Wooden Boat Experience. Gonna make that work, Gary? I'm gonna try my best. Okay, this is the bracket that I'm making for the throttle for the Morse cable. A little bit of burr there. Trim these screws off. Okay, so I think it would be a good idea now to take a couple minutes and get these cables situated so they're not in our way. You know, a couple of little brackets to, like this one here. The other thing is this pulley's awful close to the engine stringer. I actually added a piece. Wow. Is, is this shaft drilled with a car in it? Um, I believe it is. I don't turn. see it. Is it buried underneath? <clears throat> turn it. I can turn it some more. Yeah, try know. turning it. I can let me go tighter or loosen. Um, why don't you loosen it up? Okay. Loosen. How tight do you have it? Pretty tight. Not any good. I want to eat this stuff. Just All right, what are you making right now? Offset for the rudder. That'll fit over the top of the little block and the screws in the bottom that hold it in and run two lag bolts through here and it'll hold it just sweet. So the other thing that's got to happen too, Gary, is I got to download this or upload this footage and um, identify each file. So. Let's 
let's go eat. While Gary and I take a break from a long day and the cold, don't forget that you can get those new shirts and mini pennants slash burgies over on glasscoat.com along with the usual merchandise. Order soon to get it in time for Christmas. I know it's hard to believe, but I had to judge an art show midday Friday, which left Gary to work and film on his own. Luckily, he concentrated on working rather than filming. Okay, Gary, I had to go to uh, judge an art show, and I left you here in the cold. What'd you get done? Did you do anything today? Enough to keep warm. <laughs> Hardest thing was pulling up the gas tank with that copper line for the vent, and the copper line coming out, put a new control valve there for the tank. And we stole both of those, the whole vent system, off of the 27-foot sea skiff. All and, the copper. All the, and the, all, the all the copper's off of there. Actually, not the copper exhaust, but everything else. That's yeah. the copper exhaust was with right, us. So we ran down this side, came up. Let me go over and take a look at what you did. So here's the vent. Yeah. Looks sweet. And over here, there's the exhaust line or the fuel, fuel line, line going up, and then it's got to avoid the vibration problem. We got rubber in between. Yep, and I got it strapped off. And then if you go back to the other side, you'll see how we uh, we did safety wire. The Safety wire in the coupler. Safety wire to coupler. That's an aviation type safety wire. <laughs> and oh, you know what? We got a safety wire still. The rudder. I'll do it. And then we got these new hoses this morning. Yep, got those installed. Then coolant hoses, and that goes down to here. And this cooler. this isn't quite done yet. There's that spot that's open right there. Right. And that's going to be where we put that valve on. That's right. So we can hook a garden hose and flush the system out. Yep. But there's or the cooler. Start it up or run it. Yeah, start it up and run it. Yeah. We're Winterizing doing. all that stuff is going to be awesome because it'll be really easy. Because we got this swivel. I've never seen one of these before. Let me grab it. Oh, my goodness, if I don't fall in the boat. So this is pretty cool. It's It's got female and female swivels in between, and we'll just be able to hook a hose right to it. Yep. Shut off the angle cock down to the through hole fitting and turn the hose on, and you can run the motor as long as you want. And that uh, the reason that's there is because Gary suggested we put about a six-inch... Uh, just a, what do they call that? Just a, a, a six-inch pipe nipple, and then we'll put this on top. Yeah, and that'll get it up away from the starter and out of the way. Now it's easy to hook up to. And yesterday we hooked the throttle up yeah. and the, um, the control, whole control, so that's yeah. up there ready to go. And uh, so now we, what we got left to do is electrical, right? Yep, that's it. So we'll, um, we'll get batteries tomorrow. going in tomorrow, yep. um, hook up the battery switch. And this wiring's not as bad as it looks. I took all the tape off because the tape was all gummy. Yeah. You know, it gets uh, just so annoying. I pulled the rest of it off. And there's the wiring loom up there, ready to go back together. We probably won't wire up all the gauges and all that stuff. We, we'll want oil pressure. Uh, I guess we want oil pressure and temperature, don't we? Yeah, all right. Well. Gary, we'll be wiring the whole thing, won't okay, we? Okay, we'll wire <laughs> So it's a little chilly out here. Um, I was sitting in a building looking at art and judging that, and Gary was working his butt off. And even Speckles was helping. Where are you, Speck? Where are you? Hey, Speck, where are you? Where are you hiding, buddy? There he is. So time to go in and get warm, don't you think? Yeah, it's good. We're going to look at another boat. Hey, Ed never sees. Trying to teach Gary how to film and work at the same time. That's not easy. He's a good worker. Sometimes. He forgets about filming. I got it. Let's just put in a bison and lock it down. Okay. I turn the nose. Uh, I'll go do that. Okay, we've got this, the eye on, and we've locked the nut down. Now we're going down into the boat. Gary's going to get in there. My lovely assistant, Gary.
So finally, after all this time, the Schaefer's oil is going in. All right, Gary, go to it. All right. I'm going to hand them to you, all right? Yeah, just take the cap off. That's easier. I was telling you, that their Citrol, mm -hmm. that degreaser, yeah. stuff is amazing. Yeah. I got to get some more. That um, aviation racing fuel, Gary, mm -hmm. <laughs> 103 know. octane. Well, yeah, if we're in the valves, you're not careful. Is it coming right out the bottom of the tank while you're pouring it in? My toes aren't wet yet. <laughs> I hope not. All right, just turn it on. Ignition's on. All right, okay. All right, give it, go crank it. <laughs> Carburetor top off the choke's too far post. Oh, okay. That's, what's, that's why it's choking itself to death. As soon as I find a Phillips screwdriver. Oh, that way it was flooding out before? Yep. All right, I'm turning cameras off for a second. Woo! All right, Specky, I'm going to have to trust you, buddy. we got to open the door. <laughs> you can take it off on me, okay? Yeah, you, you can go, go out. Our, uh, right, let me adjust this choke. It's way too tight. That way, that's why you're having problems before. We don't need to do anything? I wouldn't. Okay. Did you notice your tachometers? Were they doing anything? No, let's do that one more time. Okay, hold on. Let me get on the throttle. I'm going to feed you some more water. We never, we didn't get any, it hasn't filled up with water yet because nothing came out the tailpipe right, yet. I'll give you some more water. Hold on. I mean, not that we needed to do that. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. Wait her up. This tack is moving. It is. Yeah. Cool. But I don't know if it's right because it never started. So. Okay. Not warming up yet. We'll get there. This is just a choke problem again. Yeah. Whenever an engine coughs back to the carburetor, that's always when the. Yeah. See. Oh. It's straight enough. See. It oh, it should be straight. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Not yet. She's not warmed up enough, so we're gonna we're gonna batten it up a little bit. It's okay. Now it hasn't been on long enough for it to totally open it as yeah. far as the the heat in yeah. that system, correct? Yeah. So right now it should just be based on the. Okay. It's fighting, isn't it? Yeah. They're a little tough to work with sometimes because they they hold in so tight. And they're made out of plastic, so you gotta be careful with them. They don't screw them up. Okay. So a popping engine is not too much gas; it's too little gas. That's right. It's okay. All That's why it backfires because it's not getting enough fuel. I like that there. You gotta fiddle with this sometimes a little bit now. Once you get it right, you ain't never got to mess with it anymore. 
Well, it's nice that the tack is moving because that means if it'll just yeah, be a matter a of hopefully we can handy? adjust it right. So you can adjust it, or yeah. do you want to not mess with that? Now? I, not now. We'll do that when we're when it's actually running and you know in the water, and we're not thinking about seven other things. You got some. There, there is some water in the bucket now. Again. Don't be afraid to use a gallon jug. No, I need that. Okay, I think it'll just start the hood. Want to see Unbeknownst in the Water? In a day or two, you'll see Episode 8, Part 2. I hope to see you there. And don't forget to check out Patreon with lots of extra content.